I'm living in this moment because of you. And I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Your grace Your grace and mercy To go out and tell the world, tell a dying world, salvation is free. There have been times when I, I would not do right, but you. You see, justice, justice demanded that I should die. But grace and mercy said, oh no, oh no, we've already paid the price. You see, I was blinded, but thank God I could see. Because grace and mercy, grace and mercy, grace and mercy came along and reached way, 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 way down and rescued me. Your grace and mercy. I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living this very moment, all because of you, just because of you, and I, 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 I want to thank you, and praise, and praise you too, your grace, your grace and mercy. Amen, amen, and amen. God's grace and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy. It is the two o'clock hour, and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, uh, your brother, Brother Oscar York. On the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting a snap 
in your Christian world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are, we are, we, we are so glad, so glad, so glad and blessed to do it on uh, today. All right, all right. Be happy years on my friends. Are you ready to receive another episode of Chatting from the Word? This is episode 331, 331, that the Lord has allowed us to get to. Praise the Lord. Praise uh, the Lord. Today is 11, 9, 20, 20. And I hope all are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. And... Uh, had a relaxing weekend, and we hope that you all got a chance on yesterday to praise the Lord, because on yesterday was his day all day uh, yesterday. Amen and amen. So we hope that you all are relaxed and ready to hear this fine, uh, fine episode from the Lord here on chatting from the word. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes, yes. And if this be your first time listening in, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back, come back, come back, and hear some more. We hear chatting from the word. We'd be so, so blessed and happy uh, that you would do just that. Do you love this program, my friends? Have this program helped you through some tough, tough times just to listen to God's word and and just to hear some soothing a cappella music to put your mind on Christ and away from what's going on on outside there for a little while? And if it has been helping you, if it has helped you to, uh, uh, to, to feel better about the Lord and to grow in, in grace and truth, Help us out here. We need your financial assistance. We really do. And if you can, if you can, that'd be beautiful if you can donate a dollar two towards Brother Oscar program here, Chatting from the Word, so that we can uh, keep it here on the air. We hope that to do that. And if you want to donate any amount, uh, any size of financial assistance, you can go to PayPal. We do have an account on the PayPal webpage. Just pull up the PayPal webpage and put in OscarYork3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to ChaseZell, Chase.com, Zell, and again, put in my email address, which is lowercase, OscarYork3443 at gmail.com. Do it today, my friends. Do it today after you listen to the program so that we can keep this fine, fine program on uh, the air. Do it today. Help us out here to keep on chatting about the word and from the word. Amen, amen, amen. We here in Minesburg, Dayton, Ohio, we are having a fantastic weather. <laughs> I believe I can say weather. I was going to say a fantastic day because of the weather. It looks beautiful outside, my friends. The sun is shining and it's cool and brisk. Or maybe just real cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but but we love it. We love it. I was out there earlier today, and it feels so, 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 so great uh, that the Lord has blessed us here in Ohio with some uh, beautiful, beautiful weather. The weather people says it is, let me see here, you all. The weather people says that it is 77 degrees, sunny. A low chance of precipitation on tonight, 10%. Humidity is at 51%. Dew point, 55 degrees. And pressure is at 30. Now, that sounds like it's a, it's a good day for, for Brother Oscar. It looks good. But my friends, regardless of what's going on, on on the outside, it can be rainy, cats 
cats and dogs. It can have 50 feet of snow at my door. But as long as I have Jesus on the inside, I have sunny days every day because I have the S-O-N, the Son of God. And since you have your ears on as well, we recognize you have him too. Amen. And amen. My friends, we have a wonderful, wonderful program for you today. And you might be saying to yourself, Brother Oscar, you so confident in yourself that we have a wonderful, wonderful show today. I'm not confident in myself. I'm confident in Jesus Christ. Because, my friends, when you center around Jesus Christ, you can't help but to have something great, fantastic, and good. That's the way Brother Oscar sees it here on Chatting from the Word, and we hope that you see it. The same. But again, we have a wonderful, wonderful program today. You just heard our introductory song, which is God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Harold Robinson. And then during our prayer time, we're going to be playing Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance Acapella. And the song before the message and after our prayer time will be, it's cool. Ooh, on the inside, <laughs> sound by Chris Turner. So, my friends, just 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 get relaxed. Are you relaxed? Just get on board this ride, this train, and ride, ride this train for a little while. Our engineer and conductor is Jesus Christ. He's at the wheel and he's ready. To take you on a smooth, smooth, smooth ride. My friends, all you need to do is hop on board and just hold on tight. But you don't have to hold on too tight because Jesus, is, he's a good driver. He knows how to uh, make the riding, the driving smooth and, and know how to get all over the humps and through the humps and through the twists and turns. All we need to do is just depend and have faith. And our driver, which is Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. So, my friends, just get relaxed. Get relaxed. Don't worry about what's on the outside. Let the Lord, let the Lord be in your mind for a little while. Come and relax and, and, and praise him for a little while. Hear the beautiful a cappella songs and, and listen to a message so that you can go by. So, my friend, just relax. And if you relax, go ahead on and have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, soda water, soda pop, a nice glass of tea, or a fresh squeezed glass of orange juice or lemonade while you're relaxing and listening to Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're at home, go ahead on and recline in your reclining chair or just stretch out on your couch or on the floor. Why you listen to your brother here, brother Oscar York. Now, if you're driving, driving, get to point A to point B. Keep your eyes on the road, but at the same time, listen to your brother here, brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym, trying to get the muscles all tuned in and and, and looking good, uh, get that scrubboard stomach. Go ahead on and keep on exercising. Well, at the same time, put your earbuds on so that you can continue on and listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. And we'd be so blessed, so blessed, so blessed that you will do that. Amen and amen. Where are we, you all? Where are we? We will be right back after these messages.
Amen, amen, and amen. That was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance Acapella. And this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, all you simply need to do is email it to me. The email address is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can put it on our messenger page. Or you can put it on the page that's dedicated to the program on Facebook. Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar York slash Oscar York Publishing dot com. Or you can put it on our webpage, Oscar York Publishing dot com. And you can use those avenues if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on chatting from the word. Now, you know how we do it here. You know what we've been praying for for quite some time. We've been praying for uh, the pandemic uh, that, that we work it out where it will be dissolved soon and, and this coronavirus be a thing of the past, but we must remember that God is in control of it all and we need to Talk to him about it. Talk to him about it. Say, Father, we'll be glad when it's over with. <laughs> uh, the way Brother Oscar sees it. And, of course, we've been praying for those that have contracted this uh, uh, coronavirus and those that have lost loved ones uh, to this uh, uh, during the pandemic and those that have lost loved ones at the hands of the police and pray for the police also. I pray for all of our political leaders. Uh, it looks like we are going to, when January comes, we will have a new president in a uh, person of Mr. Biden and a new vice president in Camilla Harris, the first, the first. And my my my, my hat's off to her, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I think it's a good thing. The first, not only woman vice president, but the first black woman president and that that does my heart some good because I recognize that for a, a, a young lady at one time ladies could not reach a level and I want you to hear this women could not reach a level as that at one time at one time they were just housewives or secretaries or nurses but my friends time has changed and the, and it was time for the change. Because I believe, I believe uh, that women can do just as much and maybe more as men uh, can do. And although some of you might disagree with me and talk about men at the head of the and all this and all that, but go back and read your Bible. You'll find out that Eve, in the beginning, was a helpmate to Adam. He wasn't, she, she wasn't no one for her to walk over or to boss and tell what to do. They was equal, working together, trying to make a beautiful place for both of them to live and to be communing with God. But it was after the eating of the fruit. I, I, that's what I can say, that God put restrictions and limitations because of sin. But my friends, I, I believe it's a good thing. And if you have any thoughts on it, if you have any thoughts on it, email it to me. If you have any thoughts on it, email it to me. And I'm not trying to be a a person uh, that loves to do uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A uh, uh, make comments or, or opinionated. I'm not opinionated at all. I just think that we should obey Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And uh, I believe it's a good thing. 
And if you have any other thoughts, I'll just email it to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll talk to me on Messenger page. I'll talk to me on LinkedIn. Any other avenues that we bring the show on, you can always uh, talk with your brother here on anything you disagree with me on. You know, I'm not perfect. I never say I was perfect. And I never say that my thoughts are, 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 are better than anybody else. But if you have anything to say on it, let me know. Let me know. And, of course, we've been praying for, of course, the church and you all, our listeners, and the program. But before we go off into our prayer, before we approach the throne of grace, I would love for you to, to turn with me to First Timothy, the second chapter, beginning with verse 1. Here, Paul is writing to his to his young uh, son in the gospel, Paul says, I exhort therefore that, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet Excuse me, and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. And here, Paul said, let's pray for our leaders. Let's pray for those that, uh, that have charge over us. Let's pray for them so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. Amen and amen. Will you approach the throne of grace with me, please? Our Father, our most, most high God. Father, we come to you in the humblest way we know how. With our eyes, our minds, our hearts lifted up to you, Father. First of all, Father, in thanksgiving, thank you, Father, for all the many blessings that you have brought our way today. Thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father, for the gentle breeze you allow us to feel. Thank you, Father, for the sun rays that hit our bodies and make us feel alive and well again. Oh, Father, we come thanking you for so, so much. We come thank you, Father, for allowing your only begotten Son, Jesus, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to live and to show us how to die, to show us how to love. Oh, Father, we thank you so, so much for that. And, Father, we come praying now for the world and this pandemic. Father, we pray for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies. Help the doctors minister the right medicine so that they may get well and whole once again. And Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones during this pandemic. Father, we pray that you be with their families, soothe their minds, soothe their souls, help them with their memories of the lost loved ones. Father, we, we ask that you put your loving arms around them. And also those that have lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that to be with their families as well. Let them recognize things happen for a reason and for a time. Father, help them to recognize you to all the things that they have suffered. Well, Father, we come praying for the political world at this time. Father, we pray that you be our new president, Mr. Biden. Father, we pray that uh, the uh, turnaround, the, the, the transitioning will go uh, fine, and Mr. Trump will... Yeah. Uh, just admit that, you know, and uh, congratulate Mr. Biden. Father, we pray that it goes well for both men. And Father, we come praying for the church at this time. Father, help the church after all this is done and over with to remain the church and to stand on your principles of love, peace, honesty, and truth. Father, we pray. For all of our listeners at this time, Father, we pray 
let to be with them, help them through the many obstacles that are standing before them, help them through the hard times, help them through the storms, help them with their family problems, children problems, school problems, whatever problems that they're facing, financial problems, help them to understand that you are complete control, Father, and you can look up and they can look up to you from whence coming our help. And Father, we come praying for our program at this time, chatting from the word, Father, help us. Here, chatting from the word to be a light in every community that we are heard in, Father. Help us that we may always put Christ first on this program so that we may teach Christ and to show Christ to a world that they'll understand Christ. And Father, we come praying for the lesson that we're going to teach in the field. Our reasonable service, Father, help us that we may say something that helps someone to grow in grace, that we may say something to help someone or uh, to uh, motivate someone to accept you and Jesus Christ and be saved. Oh, Father, we come thank you for so much, so much, so much, Father. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that we've been praying for for all this time, Father, praying for their problems, praying for those, that what they're trying to uh, do in your name, Father. We pray that you give them the, the strength and, and the, 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 the spirit to keep on going. Uh, for you, because sometimes in the world, as it is today, sometimes it gets hard and gets hard. Before we recognize that if we keep our hands in your hands, everything will be just fine. And now, in Jesus' name, do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for uh, praying with us on that prayer. And we hope that we prayed for something uh, that was on your mind. All right, all right, all right. I would love to remind all of our listeners that you're listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, on the free Kirk platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word. And putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we are so glad. We are so glad to be. And amen and amen. Where am I? Where am I? We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We're glad to be back with you. We're glad to be bringing this fine, fine program on the air uh, to you today. And I hope you have your ears on. Do you have your ears on, my friends? Are you sure you have your ears on? And I hope you do. I hope that you're listening and enjoying uh, Brother Oscar at uh, this time and place and time. And we hope that we're allowing, that this program allows you to see Jesus Christ and to be and to be able to magnify him as he uplifts us. Amen and amen. And, of course, this is my second time asking for donations. If you can help us out financially here at Chatting from the Word, we'd be so, so thankful that you can do that and help us to keep this fine program on the air. Now, you know what to send the money. So uh, if you want to send money to our program, we do have an account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal web page and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Chase Zell and, again, put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And you can put in any, any, any amount that you feel as though that we can work with and uh any amount will do a dollar two dollars three four five we're not greedy here we just need assistance to keep uh this fine program on the air now i don't know if you can hear these paper uh rattling uh I'm just trying to we're also trying to see where he's at <laughs> if that's all right with you all right, time for our announcement. You know, for quite some time, we've been announcing 
the Southwestern Christian College, 83rd Lectureship. This is the 83rd Southwestern Christian College Lectureship. And I remember years ago in 74, 75, when I was a student at Southwestern, I remember the lectureship, getting all all ready for it, getting the speakers together. I was responsible uh, for helping out on the program and contacting the speakers and all that that year for the program at Southwestern Christian College. And, of course, uh, we had just uh, built the new auditorium at Southwestern. It's not new anymore. <laughs> And I was responsible for a lot of things that went on in the new auditorium, like lighting and cleaning of it and who was on the program and this and that. And, and that was my job. And I really enjoyed uh, my years at Southwestern Christian College. And now it's the time for that time again, SWCC Lectureship. And then this time, it's going to be a virtual event. And this virtual event will take place November 21st through the 25th, 2020. The theme will be, Who Moved My Church? Who Moved My Church? And the keynote speakers will be Stanley Talbot, Avin Daniels, J.O. Robinson, T. Peterson, Dr. O. Haywood, David Watkins, David Wilson, Don uh, Ballard, uh, Dr. Jay Flowers, Gary Smith, Dr. Osha Bias, Jerry Lowless, Dr. David Blakeney, Andrew Braxter, Daryl Baldry, Wesley Bennett, Dr. R. Doolin, Dr. E. Lawton, and with Dr. Richard Barkley as your lectureship director. And the president of the college is Dr. Irvin Singster, uh, Jr. Now, this virtual virtual Lectureship can be accessed on the SWCC Facebook page uh, on the Church TV Network. And if you have any questions or concern, you can dial up SWCC Lectureship 1949 at gmail.com. And we hope that y'all tune in to that. That's, that's not too far from here. This is what well, this is the ninth, and we're talking about the twenty first. So we say it's about a couple of weeks away, and uh, isn't that something? We it's upon us again, and that's the Thanksgiving week. And so we hope that you all participate in this lectureship, and I'm very, I'm very confident that these brothers are gonna have are going to have some worthwhile mess. Messages, excuse me, some worthwhile uh, messages. And of course, as you may know, I'm still selling my t shirt. If you want to buy a t shirt from Oscar York, the price is $35. You can put the amount into our account and just email me your size and how many you want. Amen. Amen. Let me, let me apologize. I got a little hiccup. <laughs> it seems like I can't stop. <laughs> And that's bad when you're on the air and, and you start getting hiccups. I know you all don't want to hear the, hear the hiccup. <laughs> but I do apologize. I, I do apologize for that. Okay? I know you have your ears on. I know you do. And I know you're listening to Brother Oscar at his time. And if you love what you're hearing, let your friends know about us here on Chatting from the Word. Spread the news, spread the news, spread the news. Let your friends on Facebook know what we are doing. Spread the news, spread the news, spread the news. Let them know on LinkedIn and others. Share, share the show with your friends. When we share it with you, you share it with them. Okay? But I only share our program. Like us here at Chatting from the Word. Let Brother Oscar know that you like what we're doing here at Chatting from the Word. And if you believe I'm doing a good job, it's all right to say it. I don't have a big head. But if you feel like it, it needs some improvement, you know, I'm all right to criticism. I, you know, if, it, if it's righteous criticism now, I'm all right with that. You can always let Brother Oscar know what he's doing right or what he's doing wrong. And, and I will improve on that. You know, I, 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 that's where I am. 
I will improve on that. If you can pinpoint the things that I'm doing wrong and can make this this uh, program much better, I'll be happy to make the change. But you got to do it. <laughs> and so I'm just taking, since I'm hurt that yet, I'm just taking everyone to hear the program. Love, love, love the program. So since you love the program, tell your friends about us here on Chatting From My Word. But not also, not also love us and like us here. Be a part of the family. When we share it to you from uh, Spreaker today, follow us here on the Spreaker platform. Okay, and then when uh, you go to YouTube and you listen to it on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube. And on YouTube, is, oh, you know how it is. The letters in red, they subscribe. And once you subscribe, you turn gray, and, and then a bell comes out, and you tap the bell, and it asks you if you want to look at all the programs or some of them. And you know what Brother Austin is talking about. So I hope you uh, you be in tune to watch or listen to all the programs. So subscribe to us on uh, uh, on uh, YouTube and listen to us and follow us here on Spreaker, on the Spreaker uh, platform. We be so delighted, so delighted that you do. Amen. And uh, amen. Now, if you want to contact with your brother, that's fine. That is fine. I'm not untouchable. You can always reach out and touch Brother Oscar. And Brother Oscar be so blessed and so happy that you do. But first, email me because I don't know your phone number. If you want to call me, I'm not going to pick up because I don't know your number. Email me first. Email me your number, and I will email you my number back. And then we can talk like that if you want to talk. But if you want to text me and let me know some beautiful things, that is just fine, too. And, of course, my email address is lowercase of york3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to our uh, Facebook page, which is Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar slash OscarYorkPublishing.com. Or you can go to our webpage, OscarYorkPublishing.com. But while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, Goddesses Control with Self of 2150, and my second book, which is Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for 2150. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. And we hope that you do it today. Go visit OscarYorkPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Now, you know what Brother Oscar believes and says about reading. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power, power, power. Yes, it does. It comes power. So, my friends, go visit OscarYorkPublishing.com and order you a book and read. We hope that you do it. Do it today. Do it today. Day, order you a book and read. Amen and a amen. Our internet networks that we are on are VFC, Lay, Joyce of Ann, Chrome Webview, Bullhorn, Electro Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet uh, Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox Podcasts, Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from Word, hosted by Brother Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when Mondays through Fridays come at 2 and Saturdays at 7, you'll be all set and ready to hear a very beautiful, beautiful program from us here 
on chatting from the word. Amen. 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 Yes, you will. <laughs> Thank you. Came in too late. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, by popular demands, by popular demand, and we love this song here. Chris Turner. Chris Turner is cool inside. And here we go. Enjoy. to go where is cool inside dum 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 As I walk through the pearly gates, my Savior Jesus at the gates away. The streets are beautiful and paved with gold. I'll get a mansion and never grow. Trouble all over. 
All right, all right, all right, my brothers and sisters. Uh, That was Chris Turner. It's cool. It's cool inside. You know, I was looking at the time. It's going too fast. Sometimes you just don't have enough time to do all you need to do, and time is moving fast, and we're at the point of trying to get to the lesson. But before we get to the lesson, I have to extend the show a little bit today, and I apologize for that. But before we get to the lesson, we're going to go ahead on and take a station break, and we'll be right back after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back, and we hope that you're ready for the lesson. We hope that you have your pages turned. We're going to first begin at... Uh, Romans 12, to explain to you all how we get to the point of studying on 2 Timothy 2.15. And uh, that's where we left off, I believe, uh, last Friday. And we just want to, with time remaining, uh, first go to Romans 12 and verse 2. And here Paul said, And be not conformed, to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And if you can remember, we say, 
as Christians, the way we renew our minds is knowing God and getting into his word. And as we go to uh, 2 Timothy 2, turn with me quickly to, to 2 Timothy 2. Paul is telling Timothy, Paul is telling Timothy these words here. In Timothy 2.15, Paul is saying, study, Timothy, to do what? To show yourself approved unto God. And if you wonder how to get approved unto God, approved God, uh, through God's word, it's to study. This is what Paul is telling Timothy. Timothy, study. And then he said, Unto God, a workman. He's not just talking about any workman. He's talking about a skilled workman. And this word skilled, I'm going to use it again later on in chapter 12. So don't forget the word skill. He's talking about a skill, not just a person just read the Bible, humdrum Bible, and, and, and teach humdrum lessons, and don't know what they're talking about. But but here Paul is talking about someone that truly knows God's word. Because the next statement he made, makes here, he said, uh, not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of God. And we said that, that, that word dividing, that word dividing means to dissect. To dissect to study, to get into God's Word and really see what it is talking about, to really see what God is saying to us. A lot of us, we want to take somebody's word for what God's Word is. A lot of us, we want to just skim to God's Word. And a whole lot of us don't, don't really study God's Word, but we want to call ourselves Christians. Oh, my, my, my. And a lot of us, we, we go to church on Sundays, and we, we sing these beautiful songs. But the question, when was the last time you allowed God to talk with you? And if you tell Brother Austin, Brother Austin, last week I studied the Bible. Last month I studied my Bible. Last year I read and studied my Bible. Oh, my friends, if you wait that long to communicate allow your wife to communicate with you, or your husband to communicate with you, you're not going to have a relationship too long, will you? Amen, Brother Oscar. If you if you're talking to your mate just every once in a while, every year, once a year, twice a week, twice a month. And if you're not into God's, son God's word, you're not allowing God to speak to you. You're not allowing God to communicate back with you because it is through his word that God communicates with us from. And we communicate to God through our prayers. We talk with him. And when I study, my friends, I, I study prayerfully. When I'm on a, when I'm studying to do a lesson, this lesson here, I studied it. And, of course, I brought this lesson some years ago, some years ago, but at some time I had to rehash it again and to get into it again and to refresh my mind of what I did teach back then and to study, study, study. And that's how we communicate with God is allowing God's word to get in us. And the only way we can get his approval is to study his word. Oh, my friends, that makes sense to me. What about you? What about you? Don't think God's word is humdrum because it's not. God's word should bring life to you. God's word should be, uh, bring a spark in your, in your Christian life. To hear God's word should snap you up. That's why we always say on, on here, put a snap in your Christian walk because we're, we're, we're playing beautiful a cappella music. You just heard Chris Turner talk about it's cool in heaven. And now we're starting a lesson. That should put some thought, a snap, in your Christian walk. It should. It should. 
It should. If you really love listening and learning God's word, the word should put a snap in your walk and a livelihood in your talk. <laughs> and Brother Oscar you can see it like that, okay? And then we must look deeply into the law of liberty. Turn with me quickly to James. And I want Brother James to open up to you for a little while. Turn with me to James 1 and 21 through 25. And we're going to read that quickly because uh, the time is getting away from us very quickly. And here, the, the, the Brother James, he, he says this about God's word. And uh, James, I believe, uh, first James, James 1, uh, verses 21 through uh, 25. Uh, James said, Wherefore, let us pour all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. But he behold himself, and go up his way, and straightway forget it, what manner of man he was. But whoso looking into the perfect law of liberty and continue with therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Oh my friends, if yeah, Brother James says the word of God like a mirror the law of liberty. We should be able to look into the law, look into God's word. That's the law of liberty, the word of God. And see what we need to straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. <laughs> amen, amen. We're going to leave you right now. We're going to, on tomorrow, we're going to begin in James 1, where we just left off here. We're going to begin in James 1, how we can improve ourselves by the law of liberty. So we want you to join us tomorrow. The lesson's getting good. Like I said, it's a lot of meat that Paul brings in Romans 12. And we're just dissecting it right now. We are dissecting, my friends. This is what you call dissecting. So my friends, join us tomorrow at 2 so that we can continue on studying from uh, our reasonable service from Romans 12. 1 through 21, and other scriptures that we are studying along with it. Amen and amen. We must say our goodbyes. We hate to say them, but we must say our goodbyes. We really enjoy uh, being, with, being with you on this wonderful, wonderful Monday. And we hope all have a, a rest of the day. Rest of your day. I hope uh, that, you, uh, that we put that snap in your Christian wall. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, and I'll be thy most righteous name. Father, we so thank you for so, so much. We thank you, Father, for our listeners at this time. Help them, Father, to go closer with you. Help them, Father, to, to, to recognize that they need to make it right, keep right. Just in case, Father, you may come. Because we never know the hour you may come. But, Father, we come praying for the church, the body of Christ. We come praying for those that have been affected through this pandemic. We come praying, Father, for our new administration, the White House, Father, be with them. Help them to have a soft transitioning and help them to rule well and to help us to have a peace and quiet life. Now may the grace of God, so we commune of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. Be good. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye.
Your grace. 